The term surround sound normally applies to theaters, but when it comes to Toronto streets, it's certainly the case as well. 70 decibels is normally considered acceptable, but 85 can lead to hearing loss. The sounds of the city are almost inescapable, with noise level readings sometimes exceeding what is considered safe. Vehicles, machines, music and more all bouncing through the buildings and streets and now some are raising their voices in response. Everybody I talk to has a noise story and it might not be modified vehicles, it might be leaf blowers, it might be train horns, it might be backup beepers is also one of those things. The growing city leading to the growing demand to do something in response to the rising sounds. A number of people sharing their stories at City Hall with the Board of Health, saying it goes beyond simply tolerating one's surroundings. I walked here from the subway and through the construction, I literally had to walk two blocks like this. I felt embarrassed as you know what. I live in the city of Toronto, yet my body feels like I live in a war zone. I walk along the streets of Toronto, or I try to sleep at night. I am constantly subjected to noise. Last week, City News brought you the story of loud beeping from construction trucks in the middle of the night, disrupting an East End neighborhood. What can the city do about something like this? The city can do lots of things, and I think the what I've learned is that education is always the first thing. And so whether it's how to be a good neighbor and reduce your amplified sound at, at a certain time at night. Beyond public education, advocates are also calling for the city to work with communities to improve sound level monitoring and its response to complaints. We know that there is a health impact associated with noise. There's no question about that. That's why we put together and we're working with city divisions uh, in respect of a noise action plan. The chair of the Board of Health, however, tempering expectations with a dose of reality from living in the city. We have to remember too, this is a, an, an urban area and with that comes people and with people comes noise, right? So you cannot really have a constant quiet sounds all the time. The city does actually have a noise bylaw that was amplified last year when it comes to the noise at night. Right now they continue to study with another report due back next year. Mark McAllister, City News.